I've been dying to know since the last time we talked. I want to hear your pro wrestling story. I'm sure you've told it before somewhere else or when you were um, close to becoming a pro wrestler. I got to hear it. Okay, yeah. We started this podcast by talking about how I got fired. This is a good bookend. Good bookends right here. So I felt like when I got fired, my confidence was like at an all time low. I was like, John, your life's nothing right now. You have nothing. So you might as well try something and it might as well be something you really, really want to try. Okay, I'm going to go and train to be a professional wrestler. And I found this wrestling school that was like a 15 minute cycle away from me. And I went there and I spent six months training to be a professional wrestler. And it was fucking great. I got so much respect for wrestlers. That shit hurts. And it hurts a lot. They're not actually fighting, but those are some tough fucking people to be able to endure that. I met some real, like, interesting characters, and it was just the best. And, like, I never got to the point where I was, like, having matches or had a character. I do have a character I wanted to do. Can you say what it was? Yeah, yeah, I can say. So, basically, this was, there's a, there's an Irish wrestling association called OTT, Over the Top Wrestling. There's a lot of, like drink there's like a lot of kind of drugs it's a very hardcore crowd the matches can get really violent but like it's 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 amazing as well like it's brilliant and i was like okay you have this super like adult crowd kind of baying for blood what could i do to piss them off more than anything and so i came up with a character called the cyclist and every match I'd come out and I'd be in my full like cycling shorts and my cycling top and a helmet and I'd carry a bike to the ring. And then when I got to the ring, I'd put the bike down and I'd like lock it to the barricade and then I'd take out another lock and lock it again and another lock and lock it again and again until the crowd were like, come on, you know? (laughs) And so then like finally when they were like really impatient, I'd get in the ring and I'd have the microphone and I could go, if I could just have everyone's attention for the minute, Carbon monoxide poisoning is one of the greatest threats. Oh to, my I, God. I know. I know. At that point, they would fucking lose it. That's hilarious. And so, what I'd love, what what I would love to have done is like, you know, I get a bunch of cheap wins by like hitting people with a bike lock or whatever. Until then, finally, eventually, you know, I go up against like, you know, the good guy champion, and I just I can't compete with him at all, and I end up like trying to escape and trying to run away from him until I get back to my bike and I'm trying <laughs> to unlock like the twelve locks and I can't, and he catches me and beats me. Ironic. That yeah. was that'd be good. That was my thought. It was one of those things where like it didn't work out. But I was so glad I did it and I was yeah. so glad I gave it a shot. I think that's something people should keep in mind in general. Just I feel like whenever someone pursues something they really want to do, a lot of the times they don't want to do it is because they're worried they'll fail. And so, like, Ben, if me and you judge my like professional wrestling career, absolute failure. Just <laughs> unmitigated failure. Just did not happen, went nowhere. But that's fine, because it was awesome. The only reason I dropped it then was because it's when my YouTube channel was starting to take off. And I just knew I couldn't dedicate myself to both these things. And I always think like, if I ever get like reincarnated, I'm going to go become a wrestler. And I just think it's really fucking important to just get out there and try stuff because I tried a lot of shit before becoming a YouTuber. You know, like I was in an electronics band. I tried to be a storyboarder. I wanted to be a professional illustrator. I wanted to be a writer. I wanted to be a cameraman. I wanted to be all this kind of stuff. And like one by one, none of it really worked out. But then YouTube just did. And I feel like everyone probably has something in them that's going to be the same. It's just a matter of finding it. And so just, you know, get out there, go through as much shit as you possibly can. Try as much shit as you can and have a great time doing it. Hell yeah, man. It's about the journey. Definitely. I'm right there with you. Whoa, you're still here. Click up here to subscribe and click here to watch some of our other videos. You're dangerous.